Hello, lovely to see you. I'm Hannah from Flying Fish Studio in Sheffield and welcome to your craft box. So today I'm just going to show you a little bit about what um, you'll find inside and the types of um, crafts that you can make from it. So if we just open it up now. Okay, so inside you will find a Zen scroll some watercolours, glue stick, paintbrush, some cotton buds, a mixture of coloured papers, they might be slightly different from these. you find a piece of what looks like random string, this does have a purpose, okay. Some black paint in a, a little container, something similar to this. A pot, that's for your water or your paint. Some tissue paper, your craft booklet with your craft ideas in, and then also a range of papers. So you'll have some card, okay, a, few, a couple of pieces of thick card. You'll also have some plain white paper. You'll have some tracing paper, that's this translucent paper. And then you'll have two pieces of watercolour paper. Now this watercolour paper is the one that's slightly textured. That's how you can tell this is the one. So for our cotton bud art, this is the one you'll be wanting. So just make sure that you don't use this by accident in the other ones. If you do, don't worry, you can still use the other paper. Um, but it's great if you can um, save this one for the cotton bud art. So our three workshops, if I just go through them, so we're going to be learning pulled string art, paper people pictures, bit of a tongue twister that one, and cotton bud art. This is just one example but I'll show you a, th a few more in my actual tutorial. Um, so yeah, the box contains the materials for three workshops. You'll find these workshops on my YouTube channel and you'll also find um, this booklet, like I said, um, with the craft ideas in. Now these are just ideas, okay? So it might be that you have um, other ideas that you'd like to use these materials for, that's absolutely fine. Um, but if you are wanting to do um, these ideas in here, just make sure you save the right materials for them. Okay, so there's lots of different craft ideas in here. Um, so, I'll also go through how you would um, use the Zen scroll. So I'll go through that now. And then the tissue paper in here. This is just for general use. I've not got a particular craft in mind for this, um, but you might think of one yourself. So, we'll go through what this is now. So, I'll just untie the ribbon. So this is a very special type of paper. What we'll do is we'll roll it out. So I've unraveled it and you can use anything um, to weigh it down at the edges because you can see it comes up a little bit. So I've just got these stones that I found at the beach. Um, so I'm just going to use these, but you really can use anything. You could use your glue stick if you wanted. I just quite like using these natural pieces. And then um, I'll fill my pot up with some water. I've got one over here. Now do make sure when you use a Zen scroll, this is um, completely clean the water and the pot that the water contains and make sure that your paintbrush is completely clean as well. And all we do is we dip our paintbrush in the water, it's like magic this, and then we draw on our Zen scroll. And what you'll see is the Zen scroll will start to turn black, okay? So you can draw whatever patterns you would like. You'll find that after a few minutes, it'll start to disappear. And um, this is because the water is evaporating and your design will vanish and you'll be left with a clear board again. So really, this is a great thing to just experiment um, 
with painting with water on so we d definitely don't use um, paint on it because that will stain and um, so we just use water on this to draw um, the patterns that we'd like okay so that's a really fun thing to play with so yes, um, enjoy experimenting. Don't feel like you have to use me these materials in the in the ideas that I've given. You might like have you might have your own. Um, things don't always go right the first time, and that is absolutely okay. Things don't always go right with me either. Um, but we keep persevering and um, experimenting, and most of all, I really hope you have fun. So yes, that's it from me, and I hope you enjoy.